You stayed here all night? Why, Emily? Why do you still care about him? You don't understand. I had to be here. Oh, bull. Stop making excuses. You wanted to be here. You actually have sympathy for him. No. David is the reason that Zach is gone, and you're here playing nursemaid? The man has no soul. He... He almost killed Ryan. I know. My mother had to put a bullet in him to stop him. What will it take to get you to understand what he really is? I realize what David is. Now, after we all tried to save you from him, after I pushed and pushed... <laughs> Ah, Erica Kane always makes it interesting. I only wish she killed the bastard. Yeah, you and everybody else in town. Did anyone see you come in? Uh, no. What's going on? You said it was urgent. Did you by chance leave anything here you could wear? A change of clothes? I don't think so. Why? Don't worry about it. We'll buy something on the way. Am I going somewhere? To D.C. Tonight. With me. Anything hey, change? Not enough to make him wake up. Come on, you need a break. No, I'm fine. What happened with Erica? Jackson and Caleb got her out on bail. Is she going to be charged? That's up to the lawyers. Uh, what happened with Kendall? She's so angry. Not that I blame her. Greenlee, you don't owe this guy anything, okay? You don't owe him a damn. Thing, and I know you don't want to be here, so. You don't want to be here, do you? No, of course not. But legally, I'm still his wife, and that means if there's any medical decisions to be made, I'm the one that has to make them. Well, you gotta be able to, to hand that off to somebody else after everything that he's, that he's done. I hate what he's done to me, and I'll never forgive him. But his life could be in my hands. You ready? Yeah. I just came from the courthouse. I thought you'd like to know, uh, Mom's out on bail. Between Caleb and Uncle Jack, I'm, I'm sure they'll find a way to keep her from being charged. I know there's uh, nothing anyone can do or say that will make this easier for you. But if you could take a little comfort in the fact that everyone who loves you wants to be there for you in any way you need them to be, that you're not alone. Well, maybe that'll help. I know this is the last thing you want to think about right now. But those same people who care so much about you love Zach and are looking for a way to honor him, to remember him with you and the boys. I was thinking maybe we should start planning a memorial service. No, there will be no memorial service.
just please stop stop torturing yourself for this bastard, please, okay? And and don't 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 stress about making a life or death decision. Somebody for him. has to decide what happens. Okay, to him. so let it be somebody else. Okay? I'm not trying to diminish what he did, okay? And I'm very grateful for him saving you. I am. He came back on Thanksgiving to take you away against your will. I'm not saying that what he did wasn't horrible, or that he doesn't deserve this. He's, he's a miserable bastard, Greenlee, so as far as I'm concerned, you gotta be done with him. I, uh, gotta give it to you. You got one kick-ass will to, uh, survive. The fact you're still breathing after taking a bullet that close to the heart. Of course, that's only probably because it's made of stone. You were in an accident. Everyone thinks you died the night of the accident. You were in an accident. Everyone thinks you died the night of the accident. Ryan, you saved my life. I owe you. I love you. Whatever you've done, another one of us is going to give you a I wish you special return. We can't do that. I know. They're going to marry me. Husband. Yes, I love you. I love you so much. Scaring the hell out of you, Mr. M. Right now. Fight to be the man who deserves your love. Till the day I die. You're wasting your time, Greenlee. You, you, you are. Sa save, save your energy. Save your concern for somebody that needs it like Kendall right now. She's in hell right You don't now. think I know that? That it doesn't kill me to see her so broken knowing that I had a hand in that? Hey, hey, none of this is your fault, okay? You know that's not true. And so does Kendall. She needs us. She needs you. She needs you right now more than she's ever needed you. You need closure, Kendall. I need my husband. If I could move heaven and earth to bring Zach back, I would. But I can't. So, sooner or later, you and the boys have to find a way to say goodbye. While half the town is staring at me, people who love Zach will be there to remind you that you are not alone and to help you learn how to live without him. Help? Help by sitting through some generic service while everyone says how great my husband is and how much they miss him? No one misses him like I do. No one knew him like I did. Well, this could be a chance to share what you know that other people didn't. To get your feelings out. To express the grief that I know you're trying not to face. Okay, all right, I know you're trying to help me, but you can make things a lot easier by backing off and letting me do this my way. Another telemarketer. Kendall, what's wrong? Zach so found this at our beach. I told him I wish that we never left there. If only we hadn't come back here, we could still be there, together. You'll meet me at the private airstrip if you need to. Did something change? Change? Uh, the custody battle with Marissa. I mean, if she finds out you took me away to D.C., of all places, she's going to fight even harder to take A.J. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you think that this is... It's not? It's business. I'm trying to stop Caleb from taking back Cortland. I've been on the phone all morning with the SEC rep, Ira Sanders, trying to counter the whole trip that Erica took to D.C. Ah, and we'll have a better chance if we meet him in person. So you'll go? Absolutely. Great. Well, we got to get moving. When can we meet? Uh, well, as soon as I can get Emma to her father's. Oh. Make sure you tell Ryan that this is just a business meeting. Of course. Of course. Um, all right, I will meet you at the airstrip in half an hour. I'll be waiting. Okay. Uh, Annie, thank you. You won't regret it. Chandler Residence. Collect call from United States Penitentiary Lewisburg. Inmate Scott Chandler calling. 
Do you accept the charges? No, I won't accept. Hello? Uh, yes, this is Zach Slater's house. Uh, no, I'm not Miss... She is unavailable at the moment. Can I take a message? What is this in regards to? I see. Oh, yes, I'll tell her. Someone was calling for Zach. Uh, that was the California State Police. They're assisting in the investigation of the plane crash. What did they say? They found something in the wreckage. Tell me. Zach's overnight bag. This is not a good time, Green. I'm not leaving. <laughs> 